A bus passenger quickly takes action when the driver suddenly collapses, losing control of the bus. The Kenosha Sheriff's Department says the coach bus was on its way from Milwaukee to Chicago around 11.30 last night. The driver suddenly collapsed. The bus smashed into a wall on southbound I-94 in Kenosha County. The passenger jumped in and stopped the bus. The driver and 11 of the passengers were taken to area hospitals with minor injuries. A pickup driver is killed after crashing into a utility pole early this morning in Slinger just after midnight. Police there were called to Washington Road for a crash. They say alcohol and speed played a significant role in the crash. The victim is not being identified at this time. A fire breaks out at the We Energy's power plant in Oak Creek this afternoon. At least five departments were called to the plant around two. We Energies tells us all of the workers got out of the building okay, no one was hurt, and customer service will not be affected. The FBI continues to investigate bomb threats made on two Southwest Airlines flights to Atlanta. One of them left yesterday from Milwaukee. Someone tweeted the threat at Southwest. Fighter jets escorted the planes into Atlanta airport. The planes were searched and no bombs were found. Well, a man has died after his Jeep went through the ice on Lake Winnebago today. The sheriff's office says the 40-year-old man and his 8-year-old son were rescued by dive teams. They were both taken to the hospital. No word yet on the boy's condition. And we saw some light snow uh, falling this morning. Meteorologist Scott Steele here to let us know when the next round is on its way. Scott. Well, I know it is cliche, but what a difference a day makes, everybody. Yesterday's high temperature officially 42 degrees. That's actually the third weekend day in a row, because last weekend, both Saturday and Sunday, 42 degrees at Mitchell International. Uh, a little spring like yesterday, not so much today, and we'll go over the almanac readings in just a moment. But first, let's check out your weather headlines on this uh, Sunday as we finish off the weekend, get ready for a Monday mess. Looks as though we're going to see some snow rolling back in that could produce uh, a problem with one of the commutes. Things going to be the afternoon commute. Give you a hint and we'll go over the timing in a moment. Still a chill to the air and get ready for warmer air to return by Wednesday. So a bit of a roller coaster on the thermometer. Speaking of which, on this date, yes, the high temperature, 34 degrees. Well, you say, Scott, okay, that's not 42, but that's not bad. Well, the problem is that 34 degree reading that happened way back in midnight. The temperatures continued to fall as we went through the day and the low temperature for the day thus far 25 degrees. Uh, the average is 29 and 16, so at least we're still above both of those and nowhere near those records of 52 set back in 1973. And how about that? 23 degrees below zero. The record low temperature set back in 1904. That's a temperature, not a wind chill. Wow, nasty. Today's high temperature is Sunday's highs all across southeastern Wisconsin. Colder than on Saturday. 30 degrees in Waukesha, 28 in West Bend, 31 in Beaver Dam, 32 for you fine folks who join us in Watertown. And you'll notice most of these readings, while above average, again, occurred at midnight. The temperatures continue to subside as we went through the evening and or the daytime hours and into the evening hours. Here's future forecast, our computer model. So high pressure built in behind that little disturbance that produced a dusting snow this morning across parts of the area. That high pressure allowed the clouds to part for us to see some bonus sunshine through the afternoon into the early evening. The next weather maker is going to rapidly approach us from the northwest. It's another clipper type system. Starts to overspread Wisconsin as we go uh, through the afternoon around here. I think we'll see the flakes flying with perhaps an inch or so of accumulation by the evening commute in some spots. In fact, let's go ahead and show you a close up view of future forecast so you can time it out a little better. It's going to approach us from the northwest. So Fond du Lac, Dodge County, you're going to be the first to see the flakes flying late morning into the early afternoon. And then by mid afternoon, most of the metro area is going to be covered by that light snow continuing into the evening hours, clearing out in time for Tuesday when I expect we could start to see some sun breaking through the clouds. Overall, half inch to about an inch and a half across southeastern Wisconsin. Traveling around the Badger State, be prepared for snow north, central, and south. Your storm team forecast for tonight, down to 18 seasonally cold degrees with a few lakeside flakes. And then for your Monday, mostly cloudy. Look for snow developing in the afternoon, 27 degrees for a high. We get a couple days off from any precipitation in your storm team for seven day forecast. Look for Tuesday and Wednesday to see partly cloudy skies and a little warmer as well. Another round of snow in here on Thursday.